guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. And for those of you that don't know, I've lost over a hundred pounds. I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. So today I'm gonna walk you into Trader Joe's and I'm gonna show you some of the foods that I pick up on a weekly basis right now that have actually helped me maintain my weight. So let's go. All right, guys, so they moved a few things around. So we're starting off with the nuts. Now, I picked these guys up right here. If you have not tried the Truffle Marklana almonds, guys, these are absolutely amazing. I like both of these. These are just great for snacking. Sometimes when I'm kind of hungry and I feel like a little snacky, almonds are great. They're also healthy fats. They're super low in carbs. You do want to be careful with the calories because they can be a little calorie dense, but these are a great snack. So if you guys aren't already picking these up here at Trader's, I'm telling you, these are amazing. <laughs> All right guys, so bad news is we got kicked out of Trader Joe's. Good news is I bought everything so that we could finish up the video out here. So we're gonna find a spot and I'm gonna show you all the things that I pick up that have helped me on my weight loss journey over the years. <laughs> all right guys, so yes, we were booted out of Trader Joe's. So I have all the little goodies here and I'm going to basically show you what I was gonna show you in store. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you are the folio wraps. So these are amazing. I absolutely love them. About two years ago, they were going viral on my page. I made um, tostadas, like basically how you would use a traditional tostada. I would use these. They are super low in carbs, only one gram of carbs and 13 grams of protein, which is absolutely amazing. You can also use these soft, like without making them crispy to um, make like a wrap, pizzas. You can use these as chips. When I make them like chips, just cut them up, throw them in the microwave, and then you can use them for dipping. But these here, if you have not tried them, they are a great low carb option for um, tostadas and chips. Now, speaking of tostadas, carnitas here, phenom. These are already pre-cooked. It makes it so easy to make dinner. You can, um, Trader Joe's also has like a little slaw. So if you get like a low carb tortilla, your slaw, top it with your carnitas, and then maybe a little like, um, like a creamy sauce or a Mexican salsa, and guys, you are good to go. I use them for tacos with my um, low carb tortillas. I will leave them linked in the description below. I do have a discount code. So if you guys want some low carb tacos, chips, tostadas, enchiladas, all of that, amazing. And they are low carb. This here though, if you make carnitas at home, it takes a long time. So it's super, super, super convenient just to pick this up. You can make a dinner on the fly and they're delicious. These here have really saved my butt on days when I don't know what I'm gonna cook and I wanna throw something together really quickly. Carnitas are so good. Whether they are in a burrito, a tostada, over a salad, like so many different options. Now we have cheese. So Trader Joe's has a huge cheese selection. I absolutely love it. I just grabbed these because tomorrow I'm filming a recipe for you guys that is gonna be like low in calories. So I grabbed the light shredded mozzarella cheese. This one has 60 calories versus like, I think it's 100. So it's 60 versus 100 and um, it has seven grams of protein. So this here is just a light mozzarella cheese. I usually grab the regular, but um, anyway, just wanted to show you that they do also have a light version available. So if you're really trying to um, track your calories or just stay like really tight on your macros, then they do have options available for like light cheese. Now dips, you guys know I absolutely love dips. This pimento cheese dip is so good, guys. I actually love making a homemade pimento cheese dip, but you know, you have to buy the mayo and the cheese and the pimentos and um, it does, it's just a little time consuming, but this little guy here is delicious. If you haven't tried it, it is, it's so good. One carb, four grams of protein. So all of these have protein probably because they have some dairy in them. But um, this little guy here is so good and you can dip it with broccoli, celery, peppers, like any veggie, so good. Guys, I'm showing you all the things that I legitimately buy. These are things that I pick up here and there. Um, some of these I pick up weekly, but um, you will always find things like this in my fridge. Like this guy here, it's the buffalo chicken dip. So good, I absolutely love it. It has so much flavor. 
Um, I love it with cucumbers. I love it with celery. This one has um, two grams of carbs, so two carbs and three grams of protein. But honestly, it's just so good. Even for a light lunch, you do this on um, like a low carb piece of bread or like on a jicama wrap. Or for me personally, I just love it dipping it. So cucumbers is always my go-to with these little guys. I actually did grab some cucumbers, which I'll show you here. Cucumbers just like these. These are the Persian cucumbers. I also like the little minis. They are so good because you just kind of dip them. I like to cut these lengthwise and then just serve it with my salad whether it's chicken salad, the buffalo chicken dip, and then some cucumbers, so good. It just makes for a really light, delicious lunch. This is the other chicken salad that I am obsessed with. It's the home style chicken salad. It is delicious if you haven't tried it. Um, this one has two carbs per half cup. So two carbs per half cup and 16 grams of protein. So um, for me, I absolutely love it. I never eat the whole thing. I probably eat half and half. Like this is two, two snacks for me. Um, usually the chicken salad is more of a snack. So these are just super easy lunches. I mean, for me, when I don't have something to eat at night, this would be like a quick dinner, but um, they are just things that I obviously just eat throughout the day or um, throughout the month, really. This one here is a vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Guys, this is a great, like if you have a low carb noodle, if you love like either shirataki or like a soy noodle or whatever it is that you typically use for noodles, even like a spaghetti squash or a zoodle, these are so good. Just do like one or two tablespoons, mix it in. It has so, it's like literally packed with flavor. And then I just throw in some chicken. When I'm like feeling really lazy, I'll show you which one. This little guy here, just toss in my chicken and guys, you have a super quick dinner. Like I am telling you, sauces like this really save my butt because I, when I'm not filming like actual recipes, I want meals that are quick. So as you can tell, I usually think of meals that are have the good protein, are super flavorful and of course delicious. All right guys, so this one here is plain Jane, but I'm telling you it comes in handy, whether it be for snacking or for super quick meals. <clears throat> for me, um, I love it for snacking. I eat it cold, literally just grab it, grab some almonds when I'm like super, super hungry, but you could totally um, add it into stir fries, into casseroles, into salads, and it's super clean. So it has zero carbs and 22 grams of protein per three ounces. So I definitely, every single time I am at Trader's, I'm definitely picking one of these up. And I know it's plain Jane, but I'm telling you, when you have protein, at like on hand and you have it in your container at home, you will grow, like, I mean, if you're thinking like healthy girl vibes, you're gonna go for the protein versus the chips. At least that's how I think. But if I don't have that on hand, then I'm going for the junk. <laughs> now, this here, I love to eat with this chicken. Like, because these have so much flavor. Guys, the truffle Marcona almonds are everything in life. Like, if you have not tried these, this is probably, the one thing at one point they were, I thought they were gonna discontinue them. I was so sad. Like if you have not tried these, these are amazing. They taste so good. So these have two grams of carbs and six grams of protein, which is amazing for almonds. Six grams of protein, I'm like here for it. But these full of flavor, so good. If you do a snacky plate, do a little bit of almonds, some chicken, maybe a little bit of like the buffalo chicken dip and some cucumbers. And then you have like a little snacky plate for lunch. Now this little guy here, love it. I love Indian food. So this one here is the, I mean, I'm probably going to butcher it, but it's the Palak Paneer. And it is basically like spinach with cheese, almost like queso fresco. If you know what that is, like fresh cheese, queso fresco, that's exactly what it tastes like. One, it's full of flavor, super delicious. Like Nati always asked me to grab these for her. So this has nine carbs minus four of fiber. So it's five net carbs and 10 grams of protein. So 10 grams of protein for half the container, 20 grams for the whole thing. I think it is a win. You can pair it with the Kali rice. If you're not low carb, this is absolutely delicious with regular rice, but I'm telling you, this here has so much flavor and is super delicious. So if you love um, Indian food, this is definitely a great low carb option. The rice cauliflower stir fry is amazing for quick dinners. You can literally just make a little filet, make some chicken, a pork chop, whatever it is on the side, and then just serve it with a little collie rice. And this is not This is kind of like a fried rice. That's basically the vibe here. Yeah, it's about three to four dollars. So I think it's totally worth it if you're making it for dinner. You know what I mean? And let's see. 
the jicama wraps these you guys have heard me talk about them on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram go do that now i share a lot of recipes and just like basically my everyday life on there these are the jicama wraps they're perfect for tacos they have um for two of them it's 15 calories and one net carb so i think it's great like you can make some really delicious tacos with these and the jicama has a very neutral taste so you it doesn't take away from basically the flavoring on the tacos like whatever it is that you put on them that's what you're gonna like kind of get in terms of flavor this is just almost like like the vehicle right like you're gonna you're not gonna be able to taste this it's just a great low carb and low calorie option for tacos pepperoni this one here is just great for snacking again think snacky plates a little bit of pepperoni with some almonds a little dip with your cucumber like this has it's high in protein high in fat so it's gonna keep you nice and satiated but it's super low in carbs guys these here i don't always pick them up because i will literally eat this whole little box and <laughs> i feel like after i finish eating i'm just like oh okay i shouldn't have eaten all of that but this is so good while bacon is made of pork belly so it's just kind of like the bacon but it has the meat on it so it's just like a meaty bacon guys it is so delicious this with a little slaw you can make like tacos like these little pork belly tacos they are phenom but you can literally like here you can see they're paired with like mashed potato you can do like a collie mash with veggies it's like a per they're already cooked so it's super easy super convenient and kind of gets you out of a pinch like if you want to make something super quick you can also top a salad with it the possibilities are endless but the pork belly is delicious like the taste of it it gets so crispy in the air fryer like this is one of the things that i pick up when i'm thinking like okay this week i know i'm gonna be busy like i start kind of planning out my dinners and i always grab this the carnitas and the birria they were just out of the the birria but the birria at um, trader joe's is 10 out of 10 too so these are all just very quick options because of course you can buy the the pork belly slab at costco and then make it yourself but these are already cooked so i'm just showing you like easy things that i pick up that have made my life easier and also that i like regularly pick up because i want you guys to know what i actually eat and what's actually worked for me you know speaking of what's worked for me um, avocado oil is super important like you want to make sure that you are using a non-inflammatory oil to cook with avocado is for me it's my favorite it's great for frying because it has a super high smoking point point. and this one here is a spray whether you're baking whether you're just like kind of spraying a pan for an egg or anything like that it makes it super easy i usually pick up my avocado oil spray either at costco at thrive or at trader joe's so um you know they all have really good prices they're just like different sizes and stuff so and guys this is super super important we're gonna finish off the video with our eggs if you have access to pasture raised eggs it is really one of the things that i would highly recommend for you to make the switch on why because they are just more nutritious they are literally eating pasture so they eat the grass that they're like kind of grazing on versus being fed corn and like gmo soy and all this other stuff so not only are you looking for those amber yolks because that's what also tells you they're just full of that nutrients the taste is on another level so if you have access to pasture raised eggs grab them try them not only because of what i just mentioned but pasture raised is just so much better for you so these here at traders they have a great price i think they're 4.99 for per dozen um, i sometimes have to grab them at whole foods that are i think at whole foods they're about 7 or 8.99 a dozen so just you know it's a great deal and they are official like actually pasture raised sometimes they say cage free cage free is not the same you want it to be pasture raised all right guys so these are some of the things that i literally pick up on a weekly basis they have helped me over the years not only because they make my life so much easier and they're super convenient but they're also delicious so i hope that some of these things are helpful for you whether you're living a low carb lifestyle trying to lose a few pounds or just trying to make healthier choices in your life guys thanks so much for being here if you like this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications on guys that is so important for you guys to have them on so you guys get an alert every time i post a video 
Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.